Okay, we have here to another integral from the UNSW integration meet. This one's from 2023, round two, problem 17. We have the integral from zero to one of the floor of X to the ceiling of X dx. Okay, now this is actually one I think that could be a quick integral that we could do in maybe five seconds, but it's gonna take a little analysis. And I think because we have the floor and ceiling, I'd like to first draw a graph to just get a better sense of this thing. Okay, so we have a very simple graph over here to the right of just y equal to x, and this is within our bounds, zero to one. And now specifically, we wanna take this, what we wanna do is we wanna look at what's gonna happen if we're looking at the floor of this or the ceiling of this. So for the ceiling of this, what the ceiling's gonna do is it basically will round us up. So like, let's just take an example. If I were looking at the ceiling of say 0 0.137, well, the ceiling of this is gonna take me up to one. And while I'm doing this, let's just look at an example with the floor function. So if I was to take the floor, of, let's just do the floor of the same value. Well, that's gonna round me down to zero, but it's gonna be any value within this range. So like if I did a higher value, let's say we did 0 0.9998, well, the floor is still gonna just take me down to zero. So coming back to our graph, if I wanna look at just the ceiling of X, well, in this range from zero to one, all these values are gonna be rounded up. So our ceiling, of x is gonna be just a line here, everything having a value of one. And just recognize that because it's an integral, we're not really concerned with the endpoints, but everything in between. So for our purposes, we really just have a value of one for everything for the ceiling. I was trying to see if I have a blue marker somewhere, but I couldn't find it, but I do have a red marker. So we'll use that for our floor. I would use blue for the ceiling. So again, for our floor, we see at different values, like 9.998 here is gonna bring us all the way down to zero. And then at 0 0.1.37, this is gonna be at zero. So for all these values between zero and one, the floor is gonna always take us down all the way to zero. So we'll just kind of write it like this here. So really what this means is it's actually gonna be quite easy, right? Because our floor of X is always gonna be zero. And our ceiling of X is always going to be one within this range, of course, but they made it easy on us by just going from zero to one. It could be a little harder if they went from, I don't know, zero to five or something. But we're going to be able to just plug this in as we're going to have a one here and this value is going to be zero. So let me just rewrite this integral and we'll finish this off really quick. Okay, so now as you can see, we're just integrating zero to the one, but zero to the one is just zero. So this is going to be very simple. <laughs> So it turns out we're just integrating zero and our bounds don't really matter. So the integral of zero is just gonna be zero. So like I said, really quick and simple, but still we got a little interpretation to do there. So I'll stop it there. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a great day.